alert! Zara's attacking! We need to go to the factory! Okay, I've already made a Khalil good joke last episode. I'm not gonna do it again. I've already I've already too late. Hey, Ray Cross here. Welcome back for more Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time, we made it to the Proto Man Cut. Robo added to the club. Yeah. That's the thing that actually happened. This episode, well, we're gonna be straying away from our path. A little bit to mention a um, certain item that we uh, something that we can't get to right now. But I don't even I don't even know why I brought that up now. Let's just go to the factory before I even make even bigger dumbass of myself. It's not like it'll do a good enough job on, uh, on that on a daily basis, geez. Okay, now the way this is gonna work. We have Robo with us to operate on these computers. Override security system zero zero. Okay, now we'll release a new enemy. Yeah, they have insane physical defense. But on the plus side, they don't have a lot of HP. Aura Beam! Yeah. And yeah, that's actually why I decided to um, go with um, Meryl here, because I kind of prefer to have a um, healer on hand. Debugger! Counter opposite to the um, buggers in the um, Ares Dome. I kind of think if buggers and debuggers were to um, meet up, but they go on an all-out war with each other. I mean, like, I, you'd think buggers would cause problems. And the debuggers... I don't know. I, I would think that um, the buggers and debuggers would be at war with each other. Ha! <laughs> the same. Out area to the left and the factory area to the right. The other one that can bear bell in the factory the security system will activate and you'll be in danger. Yeah, you can block the access of the um roll boss, which is something I like to do. It's only for like, experience. So other other than that, it's not really necessary initiative. Okay, got a shelter, which is not bad. Unfortunately. Getting that, I got cornered by these guys, and thus I'm going to have to fight them. Okay. We have Alkaline Batteries. Um, not bad battery brand. Thank you, for circling, thank you for circling around me in a nice little formation like that. Knock one of them out. Literally fused with other members. Call that a fusion. It's a dual tech. Not a fusion. Because otherwise, it would be a night or two. Be okay, I'm not gonna sing that. Ugh, you guys don't wanna hear me sing anyways. I have a god awful voice. I don't care what anybody says, my voice is terrible. Oh my god, it, it makes me cringe hearing it. Ugh. And then again, I guess it kinda makes sense because, well. Oh, rocket roll. Alright. Now, as far as laser spin goes... Okay, first we're gonna open the hatch down here. This is actually considered to be a shadow tech, believe it or not. And crap, this isn't the way I'm supposed to go, is it?
think it is. Oh well. Thanks, Alkaline! Uh. Anyway, there's a specific pathway that we do need to take to get a combination of buttons. I believe this is it. Fucking assets! Just shut up and die. Thank you. Okay, I haven't used... Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna use this battle show laser spin. Here we go. Tax all enemies no matter where they are. Yay, that did nothing to the acids, and, well, it affected alkaline, but not acid. That was a fail of a tag I've ever seen one! Then again, I guess we know now that, um, Asses aren't really all that affected by, um, shadow text. Oh well. We got this, um, laser beam block kind of blocking the way. So, where do we say we have Robo deactivate that? Laser defense systems deactivated. All systems down. Def that made what I said redundant. Okay, and it was deciding to cut that fight b because of, uh, well, it took longer than I would have liked, but, oh, well. Okay, right here. Titan Vest! What a time for, a uh, oh, better equipment to come up. And ironically, Robo already has one. Uh, does it make sense for robots to be wearing this kind of stuff? But, uh, oh well, what can you do? Yeah, I think it's best to give it to, um... Yeah, I'm gonna give it to Morale. He's the most. Chrono, I think, has enough defense as it is. The way that, that I typically go go about this is, um, I typically give the the best equipment to um, well, whoever needs it the most, aka, AKA whoever has the least stats in that regard. But that's just how I do things. And ooh. Yeah, I'm sorry I've been kind of trying to obsess, but I just kind of want to go for these. Oh, hammer arm! That's actually better. That's actually a new weapon for Robo. Yeah, I suppose this turn arm we can give him that hammer on his back! No, not really. Yeah, I do like that he has interchangeable fists. I believe we're gonna go up. Okay, that was odd. Earl Sparrow's just kind of clipping through. Yeah, I don't get it. Okay. Then we need to go through there. I guess it wasn't the required path. Uh, okay, yeah. 
something I will openly make here while I'm taking on these debuggers is no matter how many times I play this game, I can never really mem remember my way right around. I don't really get it. Just, I never seem to remember my way right around. Yeti! I don't know what it is about this place, but I know it's just. Just for whatever reason, I can never remember this place all that well. It's not exactly the hardest place to navigate, so I don't get why I have so much trouble remembering this place. I just do. Alright, we got these guys knocked out this time. We got that out, you actually want to go to the factory area. Remember what I said about that before? Is that assembly line? <laughs> okay. That one, is, that one got stuck, but the other one was able to phase right through it. Anyway, if we're doing that, we gotta fight these Probo th Proto 3s, or Prototype 3.0s, as they are. It's just basically upgraded versions of uh, Proto 2. Uh. Okay, so much more upgraded. And again, they didn't attack Robo, which has the Titan Vessel still. Yeah, you're taking through um, three different rooms of enemy encounters. With just prototype threes and debuggers and whatnot. With more enemies to fight with each room. Cyclones are a good friend here for that reason. This is an optional area that you can go through, just get a bit more of um, experience under your belt, which is why I do it every time. Just turn a bunch of Extra robots and just scrap. I guess you could say. Despite the fact that um, no no machines are capable of evils, uh, humanity does kind of make them that way. Okay, so we got one more run of um, robots to take out. Which guys has a total of five enemies. The best thing to do here in this room is do a cyclone here. If I waited a little bit longer, I, I might have been able to get all five of them. And just follow, follow it up with a laser spin. Thankfully there are no rats here because if there was, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to get home in time. Actually, I'm going to talk to those first. What are they talking, talking about? And there we go. There's that little mini gauntlet of enemies taken down. Not really all that hard. This is a nice little boost of experience. Alright, and get off the um, conveyor belt here. Not too shabby. Let's see if we get around these bugs, I hope. Um... No, we couldn't! Fine. Ugh, whatever. Thanks, game. Really appreciate it. 
You can have outside of battle, you can use healing text. But it's good. R is better used outside of battle because of just how little it can actually heal. What is better to be you okay, what is better to use in battle is stuff like Metonics and such. Pray that you got um, plenty of them on hand. Which honestly, why wouldn't you want to have a few Metonics? Go above here is actually where you need, where you need to go. See, if you gotta avoid aggroing these bots. I can. You can steal your items right out of your noses. Which is really easy because you don't have noses. <laughs> okay. This, I don't think we can do it. Yeah, actually, we can. Because the button combination is always the same, but you know, I'm just gonna do it the way they intended us to do it. By going all the way over here and ignoring that door, you didn't make, you didn't make tonic like I recommended that you have. And just going through here. Screw it, console, I want these treasures, damn it. For energy, okay, that's not too bad. Okay, code is 00 is triangle circle and XX. It's been always the same. Watch these robots just move around and play pinball. And I get out, get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> okay, that is kind of a little bit odd how they just run around. Yeti. They activate it as soon as we get the code. Just run. What? Yeti. Uh. Did I just start a battle and run from battle without even running? Huh? <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of funny. Wow! I did not know that was a thing that can be done! <laughs> okay! Just aggro the enemy right as you're at the doorstep and you can initiate a battle without initiating it. You know that glitch existed. Oh, I'll learn something new every day. <laughs> so I put the button commands to get this crane to lift those drums. Just slap him on the conveyor belt to get him out of the way. The wonders of technology. Thank you, Mr. Crane. Mr. Crane, Mr. Crane, Mr. Crane. You know, I'm just gonna go and take on these bots. Just to get a little bit of uh, experience with tech points. And so, I will meet you guys downstairs. Welcome to the stairs. Okay, you're downstairs. Here we are. There. Wow, I just feel ashamed of myself here. Okay, bolt sword. Okay, I believe like this a lot. I believe this. Has, okay, I believe this is sort of the uh, element of lightning on it. I'm wanting to say that at the very least, does it consider? Does it? Ah, blah, blah, blah. does get considered considerably more attack power than the load sword alone? So I guess I'll take it. Attack power is always welcome, I, I say. Anyway, here's a console that we need. Let's see, I actually feel ashamed myself. That's the best lock. Codename. Zabby. 
triangle, circle, square. I said triangle, circle, x square. So basically, the four direction. Okay, basically, the all four buttons in a clockwise. Ah, clockwise matter. Triangle, circle, x square. Thank you. Start with triangle and go to clockwise fashion. Really, really, really easy to remember. I don't know why you felt the need to say that twice, but... Okay, yeah, whatever. Me. Go over here. Hidden men ether. That's actually kind of a clever little hiding place. Sort of. But to be fair, it kind of does look like um, an area in which... <laughs> it it kind of does look like a passage right to, an, to another room. Okay. Not this time, you buggers. Okay, I actually kind of want to save my game here. Man, I should feel shame myself not, not remember this area too well. Yeah, it's like forgetting something in that stuff of Mario. Ugh. Anyway, just keep heading down. Down, down, down we go, and up the stairs. And it just takes us back around here. Oh well. Yay for me wasting my time! And your time too. Yeah, plasma gun, more importantly. Dual access in Zabby. Operational system and password. There you go, that opens the door. Very nice. I'm kind of surprised there's not a bunch of security robots around to stop us from opening the switch. <laughs> and Marjorie Security system has gone haywire. Must escape immediately. That's not good. We need to make our way out of here as soon as we can. Alright, now. So we just walk right through them. Thankfully, we made it out of there just in time. Now, as long as the security is going haywire, the um the elevator is switched off. No, that's we cannot use it, so we have to take the stairs. Okay. I'll take the um the doors here. I guess they're not powered by. A I have probably trusted in something so they can't be switched off, thankfully. Uh, check it out. That these are my friends. <coughs> R sixty four sixty seven and sixty nine. Why? Sixty nine <laughs> Get that see you. What, what are you doing? You are defective. You have been tainted. Part, pardon. Ah, uh, well, functioning? Ah, uh, formative. Ah, uh, defect. I'm a defect. Have you forgotten our mission? 
All entrances must be eliminated. That was my purpose. You shame us. You must be destroyed. Oh, what? Robo! Chrono! It's getting whipped! Let's do something! Now stop! These are my brothers! Gotta do something, man! Nope, we can't. Please stop, but please! Damn, he's just getting pummeled! And fortunately, as much as we try, we can't do anything. All I can do is just watch him get pummeled and shout up. Oh, the hatch they came from. Robo! Now to take care of the end runners. You cocky boxes of bolts! You'll never get away with this. Series robots. Okay, these guys can be kind of annoying, despite the fact that they're individually not that very strong. Collective attacks can be pretty annoying to deal with, like that. Arguably, this would have been easier with um, looking around, but oh well. I just want to have Mirror with me just for the, for the sake of having a healer because of that. Now, personally, what I like to do is using Cyclone to take care of the front row robots first to take take down three simultaneously to weaken their um, line of not line of defense or offense in this case. Okay, why? Uh, okay, admittedly, it is is um smart for them to do that because I'm capable I'm capable of taking out three at one time, like so. But still. Oh well, it's good they have those mid tonics on hand. Even though that diminishes um, Merle's um, role as a healer. Oh well. Why should this. <laughs> okay. Immediately, that is a pretty good looking attack. I. Okay, Delta. Yeah, we're gonna do it three times in a row. That's totally unfair. We can only use dual text three times. They can use it three times in a row. That's totally unfair. Only I should be allowed to do that. Oh, whatever. Where well, it goes on metal. Ah. Uh, let's say I wanted to get, I wanted her to get some decent experience off of this, but that's not happening. Why I brought her along in the first place, jeez. Not just for be not just for being the Disney healer, but for her to get some experience off of that, jeez. Yeah. She really did get creamed. Big time. Let's take him back to Luca. Thank goodness the game does that for us. Jeez. Ten hours later. That was a necessary uh, set of transitions. Can't you prepare me? Don't talk. You are trying to save our world. I don't know how far we'll get. That's the plan. Anyway, Robo, what are you going to do when you're repaired? What am I going to do? Yeah, I mean, what plans do you have for the future? 
Or will we even be around if we stop lo- I'm pretty- I tell you, yeah, I think so. Okay. No one has ever asked me that before. Hey, boys, this is, um, video is getting, it, getting to be a bit long. I promise this is not going to be the norm. Robo, you're right. Okay. You're incredible. I hope I never have to do that again. Okay. I made up my mind. I want to go with you. Pardon? There's nothing left for me here. Together, maybe we can give this planet of ours a chance. Let's go, the gate's up ahead. <coughs> Hang on to your shorts. <laughs> You're breaking the rules of the game! Yes, this is the only time in the game that we'll be all earthbound and have four members of the party following us. But with that, we're gonna end things off here. Next time, we're gonna see exactly where we are. See you guys then. And yeah. I'm still kind of bitter for the fact that my one of my intended purposes of bringing morale morale along just didn't come to fruition. Things are serious, robots. Freaking robot, Nick! You just freaking robots. You freaking moral degrading.